They're all keeping a close eye on what's coming this weekend and the impact that it's going to have on our area. All right, break it down, sir. And that's what it is. It comes down to impact, right? Mm -hmm. How are you and you all going to be affected by it? Uh, it's going to be an impactful storm. Let me show you what's going on right now because there are things that you can do now. It is quiet. We do not have the storm out there. If you're heading out this evening, no weather related problems. It's just a little cold. You got 32 right now already in Westchester at the freezing mark. I mean, you add a little breeze to that or easily down into the 20. So it's a very chilly night. But notice the icons, nice clear skies out there. So what can you do now? What can you do tonight and early tomorrow morning? Well, the first thing, you can clean out the gutters. That's probably not right now as dark. But tomorrow morning, if you haven't yet, we're expecting rain. We're expecting snow. You want to clean around your yard. And if you haven't already, it's a good day to spend some time inside planning those activities. You want to prepare. If you're in an area that's going to get snow, Lehigh Valley, you know, parts of Berks County, up and certainly in the Poconos, uh, you want to have your salt, your shovels, your blowers getting ready to actually be used for the first time this season. Get your winter gear out. You know, I know at our house we had to go dig and say, okay, it's been a little while. Let's go see for the kids and this and that. So get that all out. Uh, and then, of course, load the CBS Philadelphia app. And I tell you that, uh, not just for, uh, you know, self promotion here, but we have a big, a very extensive plan for live updates during the entire storm. And not just here in Philadelphia. We're using our resources around the entire Northeast, and we're going to be having updates constantly. We'll do some of those on air, but they're going to be on our streaming service all day tomorrow and then into Sunday as well. So if you haven't, it's free. CBS Philadelphia, load that up. We have a fabulous streaming app. I encourage you to do that. You can also load it on your TV, too, if you have those smart TVs. That's what I have at my house. All right, so here's what it looks like outside now. We have a few clouds that are starting to increase. No significant weather impacts at all. So we'll leave it on the regional view. Let me walk you through the updated future cast here. So tonight, we are dry. It is a cold night. That's what our forecast is, dry and chilly. Here's what it looks like at 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. I mentioned early tomorrow. You can see that it's cloudy, but at this point, we don't have any rain or snow in our area. That will quickly change by the time we get to noon. If you have travel plans down 95 tomorrow morning, notice by 10 o'clock in the morning, we're getting that mix in D.C., Baltimore, areas farther south. So that's where you're going to encounter the potential for some impactful travel. For our area, we're going to say around noon. Here's a closer look. The blue is the snow. The green is the rain. You folks down the shore, you're pretty much a rain all day long. But Philadelphia, up and down 95, Wilmington, back over to Chester and Lancaster County, we're going to start at snow, as snow. And it will probably snow for a couple of hours. And that's going to be enough that we get a little bit on the ground. I mean, it's not going to stick right away. But we will get some accumulations there before it transitions over to rain. And that's what you're seeing here green. All South Jersey essentially rain for the duration of this event. But watch as we get into the afternoon. Here's a look at 4 o'clock. Snowing for Upper Bucks. Snowing through the Lehigh Valley. Snowing for the Poconos. Raining up and down I-95 at this point. Late tomorrow afternoon and into the early evening. By tomorrow night at 8 o'clock. The only place really that I expect it to be snowing is the Poconos. And maybe upper parts of Lehigh County. That even there, you guys transition to a little bit of rain before this system winds down late tomorrow night. By the time most of you go to bed, say midnight, this system is going to kick on out of here. Sunday, just a few lingering flurries. Sunday is not a weather alert day. So, how much snow can you expect? We're still going less than an inch up and down I 95, you know, a little slushy mix here and there. Wouldn't be surprised some of the western parts here pick up a half an inch of snow possibly an inch on the high end, but that's about it. Then we quickly go to one to three in the shade of blue. So Redding, Lancaster, you guys are probably one to three. We get up into the Lehigh Valley. We're looking more three to five with five to ten up around the Poconos. But I don't want you so hung up on, oh, yeah, I don't get much snow. Hey, it's an easy day. We got a lot of rain coming down in addition to the wind that's going to be gusting. So it's a raw day. Down the shore, we're talking one to two inches of rainfall, and that's pretty much the trend around our entire area. So your day looks like this. We start out in the 20s, snowing by noon, 2 o'clock, and then it turns to rain, and it's a raw, cold rain with a high temperature of just, you know, mid to upper 30s. Our next weather alert, guys, is Tuesday. That one, the big concern, is going to be flooding with more rain and, of course, all the melting snow that we get. There you go. We'll keep you updated. Back over to you. Thank you, sir.